Hey. Hey. Hey, you're looking good. Mm -hmm, thank you. Uh, here you got a bit of cash to splash. Oh, Andrew, if you were here to give me a lecture like your dad, you can leave. No, I'm here to ask for a favour. I need a loan. What for? This band that I'm managing, Red Cotton. I have managed to stay in them a regular gig, but I need a thousand dollars to cover the equipment hire. I will pay you back with interest. Look, if you need a loan, why don't you just ask your dad? He's not really open to investments at the moment, but you can show him what a mistake that he's making. You lend me this money and I will pay you back with a profit. You can think of it as an investment. Nah, not really interested, sorry. Red Cotton, they have the following to make this work. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that they don't. I don't want the hassle, I'm not interested, I'm sorry. Well, then Kate, I'm gonna have to ask you as a cousin, please, I need this. Andrew, no! <laughs> Even after everything that I have done for you. I didn't ask you to do anything. You didn't have to. I lied about what happened with Noah. I deleted that footage. You know, I did it because we're family, and that is what families do. We stick together and we help each other out. Guilting me into this isn't going to get you very far. <laughs> I don't owe you anything, and I especially do not owe you $1,000. I have to find your money elsewhere. And you know, what, you, what your dad is doing with the community centre, that's a great idea. I love it. But you know what? Everybody deserves a little treat sometimes. So I shall take full responsibility for you eating pizza. Here you go. Order whatever you like. Whatever I like. Yeah, absolutely. That was funny. That'll be Dad. I got it. What are you doing? Oh, AJ, come on in, please. Thanks. Time to go, Rennie. Ah, this uh, Why don't we have a coffee and let them watch the end of the film? I think it's nearly finished. Please, Dad. Sure. It's really good to see them enjoying themselves, isn't it? Mm. So, coffee? Why don't we just skip the part where we pretend to be friends? Direct. Paul, well, you didn't invite me in for coffee to bury the hatchet, so just tell me what you want. All right, I hear that you're running for re-election. Summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I recently gave her a job. And she informs me that you've been having meetings with every influential person in Erinsborough, and yet I haven't had a call. Ah, you flatter yourself. <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed, I own Lassiter's Hotel and Erinsborough News. It's a branch of a hotel chain and Come on, a local rag. Look, the old tactics just aren't enough anymore. Erinsborough is full of young voters, and yet you've got almost nil presence online. Look, if you want to keep your seat, you need to increase your profile in every way that's available to you. Now, Erinsborough News is capable of doing that for you. It's half the better one. And in return, you'll expect what? A councillor who puts the needs of his constituency first. Thanks for having me, Mr. Robinson. Hi, it's my pleasure, Ronnie. You're welcome here anytime. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Mm. Hey. Oh, all right. All right, what? All right, I'll give you the line. Don't. I thought you might okay. come around. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Andrew, Andrew? Yep. You've got what you wanted. Do not throw this back in my face. <sighs> oh, uh, with interest. <clears throat> Do I want to know what that was about? That right there was Red Cotton getting to play their gig at Charlie's after all. Bye!